So on the note of bearings, what is a bearing? A bearing is defined by a north or south direction, followed by an angle, yet again followed by an east or west early direction. Now, the general format that a bearing follows is the following. North or south, angle, east or west. Now, I'm going to use this example right here, and I will walk you through how to do it, just so you know how to do it for the following step. 120 degrees is equal to south, 60 degrees, east. Now, I've already approximately drew it for you, so this is approximately 120 degrees, more or less. It's going to line this quadrant right here, which is the second quadrant. So. What you have to remember is that for this quadrant, you have to use this right here. 180 minus your angle, or in this case, my angle. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get the bearing. The bearing uses this angle right here. This is the angle that is 60 degrees, and even if you inspect it visually, it makes sense. 120 plus 60 is 180. I will show you how to do that right now. So, let's take this right here, because we are in this quadrant. 180 degrees minus 120 degrees is the equivalent of 60 degrees. Therefore, this space right here is, in fact, 60 degrees. Now, how to, how to put this into this format? So first, you look at the general direction of your angle it is going down therefore it is going south how many degrees to a certain direction is it going in well it is going 60 degrees in the direction of east therefore 60 degrees east that is how you convert degrees to a bearing Hey guys, so now that you know what a bearing is, and now that you understand how it is formatted, we're going to apply it to our real traverse calculations. So for the sake of the example, I'm just going to use this point right here. The angle at 351, that's why it's uh, highlighted over here. So we're going to be using this angle to make it into a bearing. So I'll show you how to do that. Now first, again, you must consider the quadrant that your angle is in, because that will uh, affect which uh, condition you will have to use. So let's start. Let's say 229 degrees uh, going from north, clockwise of course. So that's approximately here. Now again, I'm not going for accuracy, just as an example. So this right here is about 229 degrees. And I'm just gonna leave out the rest of the information right now. So the angle that you are looking for is the angle that resides right here between your angle and the 180 degrees. Now, take a look at this. Our angle is between 270 and 180 degrees. Therefore, we must use this condition right here. We must subtract our angle, sorry, our angle subtract 180. Now that is done already down here for you, as you can see, I've worked it out. So our angle is 229 degrees, 19 minutes, 33.8 seconds and we are subtracting 180 degrees. Now that gives us 49 degrees, 19 seconds, and 33.8, sorry, 19 minutes and 33.8 seconds. Now, again, using our formats, that is here. Our general direction is south, therefore it is south. Our angle, and which direction is it going in? It is going 49 degrees towards west, therefore south 49 degrees west. That is how you do it and uh, you must apply this for each one. Now, mind you, it will change for each quadrant you are in. For example, if you are in quadrant number one right here, then simply your angle is your bearing. If you are in quadrant number two, then it is 180 minus your angle. Quadrant three, which was the example we just covered right now, it is your angle minus 180, and finally, if it is in this quadrant right here, then it is 360 minus theta. I'll just quickly write this out for you right now, just so you can see it. So if you're here, it's theta. If you're here, then it's 180 degrees minus theta. If you're here, it's theta minus 180 degrees. 
And if you're here, it's 360 degrees minus theta. That is how you convert your adjusted angles to bearings in your traverse calculations.